What are we doing tomorrow? For the first time, I'm going deep dropping and I'm a little bit excited, so. Hopefully we catch some big bar cod. Some kingfish, maybe? No. No? Right Alfonsino. <laughs> Squid and Mullet. Not everyone's perfect like you, you know, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Could be. It's only early in the morning, we've been out for a few hours. The boys have been dropping these down and I've been in the cabin with my head down. I've had two quells, I had one before we got out in the boat and then I had another one when we got out here and I started feeling a little bit weird. I thought, oh, just to be safe I'll have another one because it said you can take one or two. And then I went downhill from there, my vision went all weird and I went all shaky and felt dizzy. So here I am. <laughs> Having one of these, I feel like it's the only thing that's going to make me come good. I really don't want to be sick right now. I'll stop after this one, but I just need a pick me up. My first day out deep dropping, and I've done this. I'm actually very curious to know if anyone else has had any issues with quells. We haven't got any traffic harm, I've heard that one's alright, but don't know what to take. Actually, got something up. We're in 240 meters, and it's just mark the spot and see what we've got. How far to go? Huh? How far to go? 180. How's this for fishing? No that hands. Is so hard. <laughs> Look, I'm no hands. <laughs> the big dog. I only get the big one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, double. I was a hell fish. What? I was a hell fish. Calling a monster cod. Big one. Oh, I'm guessing it'll take you up. Yeah. Ow! What'd you do? You shouldn't ask yourself. Stop getting so excited. You hurt yourself. One bet it could be for all I want to get one of that. Double whack, double whack. How far to go? Nice work. Nice work. Oh, you play 
Yeah, I think it was the top of it. Oh, no, I'm looking forward to saying what it is. Yeah, it's a little bit there. And it's getting hard. Oh, oh no, nah, he tastes full on it, man. Oh, Captain Joy, come on. Have you got different types of bait on every hook or you got pretty much the same I've thing? I've got bait, I mean bait on mine. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got mullet and squid. Okay. <laughs> so the mullet's been doing the best though, hasn't it? Oh, actually the squid. Did the squid get the big one? The squid got the big dogs. Every other, every other one but the biggest one was on mullet and the biggest one was on squid. Alright, well there you go. Super shot. There's another set in there. have much luck at the last spot so we've gone back to where we got all those cob and we'll see how we go <coughs> hopefully get some decent sized cod again it's the 14th of august today meaning we're not allowed to catch snapper and pearl perch and we pulled a heap of pearl perch up this morning and couldn't keep them <laughs> 
mental game. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. <laughs> I know. Especially because it's such a calm and day. The only reason you got it is because we were fishing. We were busy. We were doing. Yeah, and I was sitting watching. I couldn't really do anything. Except be seasick. Except for think too much. <laughs> About a 50 centimeter bar for Do you remember the bill we have? Point seven five, so fourteen kilos. Oh, fourteen. Play thirteen point nine. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen kilos. So we've got fourteen and nine and a half. Which is this one? That's so surprising, eh? Well, this could be interesting. I've never filleted a fish before in my life. Um. This is the kingfish that we pulled in first on Saturday and um, we are going to have it for dinner tonight and Brad's working late, usually he does all the fish filleting but he's not going to be home for a while. Wish me luck. First time ever filleting a fish, a fish in general, and it's um, I've definitely seen better fillets. Look how messy they are. And this one's my better one. There's the leftover frame which has a fair bit of meat on it. That kind of annoys me. 